Happy Monday, folks, and welcome back. This is part two of the camper deck. I'm getting ready to measure off and cut material for the uh, the uh, steps for the the original deck section using uh, three four-step stringers. Uh, the center one is going to be uh, obviously for extra stability. Um, instead of placing the two by sixes to the inside of the stringer, since there's three of them, what I'll end up having to do is cut an inch and a half off of uh, each end of those stringers, and then I'll uh, gain that back when I put it together with the two by six. But anyway, what we're doing today on this uh, beautiful Monday morning is just getting the material cut so it'll fit in that uh, miniature pickup truck bed on that Titan and uh, get it all loaded back up and ready to go. So here we go. It's time to throw some sawdust. things to do and I'll bring you back when we start putting this thing together. That'll be at the lake this weekend. See you then. All right folks, good morning. Next update, it's Thursday morning and uh, I've got everything somewhat organized. I've got all my uh, material for those stairs stacked up. My uh, stepdad's golf cart seat and I'm taking along my weed eater because it's, uh, it's got a little more power to it than the uh, the one out there at the at the lake. All right, looks like it's going to rain though. Yeah, they're forecasting rain for the entire weekend, but you know what? I'm not going to let that stop me. I got the boat barn that I can actually build the structure with inside, and then um, drag it around to the camper and attach it. So I ain't going. I won't separate or float off much anyhow the journey begins i just got a a work day to get around anyway next time uh next time i update you we'll be at the camper stay tuned all right everyone we made it to the camper and i had just enough time to get the main part of the of the uh, yard mode uh, I'm not going to get a chance yet to start tearing them steps out I'm going to get inside and and, uh, and I hope they don't uh, I hope we don't get that hail like they were saying anyway we're going to batten down the hatches and uh, uh, we'll be back yeah, I thought I'd take a walk out here <laughs> wasn't that long ago I was mowing this now we got standing water in the yard. Got standing water in that now. That's going to be fun. A little bit out there in that area. Yeah. Right there.
I hear the Cardinals peeping in the background, so it must not be too terribly. And then, of course, I don't know how long this phone lasts. I better get it back on the charger. Fire Marshal Dave's place. Coolio. All right, I'm going to go back in the hole. Look what we just did. 2020 Polaris Ranger 1000. It's going to come in handy for deer hunting. See you as soon as we get back to the camper. Happy Saturday, everyone. It's about 4.30ish, maybe 5 o'clock. This has been done for a little while. And uh, I just had to use some old material and some new material. I redid that to try to tie it in a little bit better. And uh, did it like so. It ain't perfect, it ain't pretty, but it, it is functional. And uh, I tied that in. And again, it's functional. It'll keep you from falling off the, the end here. And this is it again. And that finishes this. As far as uh, the steps go, cut that off. I'm not a real good Sawzall pilot, so. Anyway, but uh, that pretty much finishes off the, the deck. The wind's died down, so I'll probably drag the awning out. And like I said, it's we're just kind of tying in old with new and just making things work. Because at the end of the day, it's just a fish camp. There's the beer bell. We'll just use it as a doorbell. I just put it down, out there instead of using it. There, there you go. There's the update on the deck. Not bad. I like it. The wife likes it, so hey, that's all that matters, really. And then uh, we picked up that uh, Polaris Ranger yesterday, and that's been that's been a blast. I'm going to enjoy having that. Okay, I'm going to go and, and play. See you in a bit. Well, good Sunday morning, folks. Had a little rain last night, so my uh, chairs are trying to dry in the sun. I'm going to, I still got to hook some hoses up on that camper. And, uh, oh, I don't know. I got to see if I can get, find, see if I have some uh, a GoPro holder that I can put on the dashboard of the uh, Ranger. I used to, I thought I had one on the golf cart, but I don't. And uh, we're kind of on the fence now whether or not we want to sell the, the golf cart. It's kind of neat, to, nice to have just around on the property and stuff. and Something that my wife can jump on and piddle around in. That will go home in the winter time because it'll get used deer hunting. And we thought about getting a... a and I, I don't know, I may have mentioned it already. We were talking about getting a back window for this. Because a, a friend of mine had one that he bought from uh, Atwoods. Of course, it's not the Polaris. It was the Mahesha Husha or whatever it was. And uh, his, when you're going down a dirt road, would uh, somehow circulate the dirt back into the cab with you. This one doesn't. So we're kind of opting out on the back window and just enjoying the breeze and then learn to roll the 
roll the little door panels up and that allows for more air circulation and uh, so there you go like I said I'll get the GoPro going with it and might even uh, have a little off-road adventure or something got the awning out the decks done and uh, yeah it's time to enjoy anyway I'll see you guys in a few minutes